I love it when you guys write in with your own questions concerning your own health and wellness. One recently came in asking the relationship between taking CBD oil and its potential negative effects on the liver. Now, I wanna start out by saying that commonly, it takes an average of 17 years for a subject matter in health and medicine to be initially investigated and then for it to be ultimately implemented in modern day medical practice. 17 years, that's amazing. Now I understand that CBD oil is a hot trending topic right now, especially over the last five years. And ultimately the answer to this question, maybe we don't know yet. There are some negative studies and there are also also some positive studies. And also be advised that the media has been known to re misreport research on cannabis. A recent article came out in Forbes magazine where the scientific author stated that CBD oil taken orally might be just as dangerous as alcohol or taking acetaminophen. These substances have safe daily recommended amounts that may not harm the liver, but while alcohol's abuse is well known and acetaminophen toxicity has replaced viral hepatitis as the most common cause of acute liver failure in the US, CBD has very little abuse potential because it is non-intoxicating, so its users have no incentive to approach similar levels, say, as alcohol. And the same author begrudgingly conceded that there is research on the positives of CBD. He brought up a study showing that cannabis users have a significant dose dependent reduction in the odds of developing each of the four major stages of alcoholic liver disease. CBD oil regulates 50 genes. The key word here is regulate. CBD works to regulate the rest of the body and help it to come to homeostasis. CBD actually has over 80 mechanisms of action. Generally speaking, therapeutic CBD oil doses range from 0.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day to 20 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day. So one study in mice used significantly higher doses of CBD than what is typically taken for therapeutic benefits in humans, the study in Forbes magazine. To put that into perspective, that would be over 1300 milligrams of CBD per day in adult weighing 150 pounds. That is much higher than the typical daily dose of casual CBD oil users. Most people stick somewhere in the range of 10 to 80 milligrams per day with slightly higher doses for insomnia, certain therapeutic effects, and flare-ups. The few studies prefer performed on how CBD affects the liver are a little conflicting and not entirely clear. In one study, 10% of the subjects developed higher liver enzymes. They actually had to stop using the CBD oil for this reason. While other research suggests that CBD oil can actually improve liver function. As determined by these studies, CBD is metabolized by the liver. People with non-alcoholic liver disease are encouraged to limit any over-the-counter medications to avoid stressing the liver, including CBD oil. CBD significantly attenuated or lessens the alcohol feeding induced increase in liver enzymes in one study, liver inflammation, and oxidative nitrate of stress. CBD treatment also attenuated or lessened the respiratory burst of white blood cells isolated from chronic alcohol-fed mice and from humans, and decreased the alcohol-induced increase liver triglycerides and fat droplet accumulation in the liver. Furthermore, CBD impacted alcohol-induced hepatic metabolic dysregulation and fatty accumulation by restoring changes in the liver. Thus, CBD in this study, the authors concluded, may actually have therapeutic potential in the treatment of alcoholic liver diseases associated with inflammation, oxidative stress, and fatty accumulation in the liver. In another study, ischemia or reperfusion, they looked at. 
And it's a pivotal mechanism of liver damage after liver transplantation or liver surgery. In this study, CBD significantly reduced the extent of liver inflammation, oxidative nitrate of stress, and cell death, and also attenuated the bacterial endotoxin tri triggered activation and inflammatory markers of the all-important Kupfer cells in the liver. These protective effects were preserved in the liver in this study. Thus, the authors concluded CBD may represent a novel protective strategy against reperfusion injury by attenuating key inflammatory pathways and oxidative nitrative tissue injury. Now, we do know that some metabolites of CBD oil inhibit phase two detoxification pathways in the liver, which theoretically can cause a problem because if you have phase one detoxing and pushing off those toxins to phase two and phase two is inhibited, you get the buildup of potentially more toxic chemicals in the bloodstream. The major cellular event in the development and progression of liver fibrosis is the activation of what's called the liver stellate cells. In one research article, the authors proposed that CBD, by selectively inducing death of activated cells, represents a potential therapeutic agent for the treatment of liver fibrosis. One word of advice, all CBD oil is not created equally. A recent report by the cannabis testing lab CannaSafe to the California's Bureau of Cannabis Control, BCC, for example, stated that somewhere between 69 and 80% of CBD products failed to make the label claims. So is CBD harmful for the liver? We may not know yet. We need to perform more studies. There's no doubt about it. So, we have a website, zenithlabs.com. I encourage you to check that out, a Facebook page, an Instagram page. Please subscribe to this channel, share it and like it with your friends and loved ones so that you can become better informed about your health and wellness. Keep submitting those questions. Love it when you do. Thanks so much for your time.